Hades friends, Jollis Paul here. We're talking about Hades today. This is a guides, tips, and tricks video. Um, I had a comment from someone earlier uh, asking me, how do I come up with an idea for uh, a run? How do I uh, come into this room and decide, I'm going to do this today. I'm going to put, put something together and, and hopefully have a, a successful and, and fun uh, run. And, you know, honestly, this game isn't that, it isn't that hard to do it, but I thought, well, sure, I'll share kind of how I think about the game and how I kind of divide up different possible um, <clears throat> different, different possible run combinations um, or different ideas for runs. So I kind of divided into several different cap categories. I think about it um, in, in terms of a lot of times in terms of the keepsakes that I choose and in terms of the weapons that I would choose to start out the run. So uh, the first type of build I'll talk about is the open-ended build. So open-ended meaning you're not you're not going into it with a predetermined goal other than just to have a strong run. You're not trying to force any certain boons uh, or, or anything. You just kind of want to let see what see what the game uh, hands to you. And so these are the runs where you grab things like the Chthonic coin purse to start. We'll see what you can buy with, with 200 gold in that first area. You can also put on those silly things like Shattered Shackle, although that's a little bit more specific. You have to like... I would take like Poseidon with that, but um, you know, you could grab something like you could grab Achilles uh, Myrmidon Bracer or even the Bone Hourglass so that you can, those Well of Charon, those buffs can last longer time. Or a Cosmic Egg actually would be a good one too for that open ended run because um, the, the Chaos Boons, is, if you can find a bunch of good Chaos Boons at the beginning, it kind of gives you a direction for the rest of the run. Um, if you get a bunch of bonuses to your attack damage or your cast damage then you have some ideas about what what to grab next so starting it out open-ended it, it can be fun that is an option that is one thing that you can do um, any any weapon can work so that's the open-ended run pretty pretty fun uh, but you don't really know what you're getting and you don't you don't know for sure it's going to be a strong run although it's it's I think it's pretty hard to find uh, to put together a run that isn't uh, it doesn't have potential to be to be strong, but anyway, that's just my this is my opinion. And then we have uh, the all in run. <laughs> okay, so the all in run is you choose either the pierced butterfly or the lambent plume. These two um, give you bonuses for rooms that either you clear very quickly with the plume or you take no damage in, and they just keep stacking higher and higher and higher, and hopefully you get you know a very high very high percentage a very high percentage by the end. Um, and you've got a really strong, a strong thing going. Once again, you're not picking uh, the types of gods that you have, um, but uh, yeah, it, it does kind of determine um, how you're going to play in each room. So, um, Pierce Butterfly, you're going to play a little bit more slowly, a little bit more methodically to avoid taking damage. And the Plume, you're just going, you're trying to go as fast as you can. Uh, you're not worried about taking damage. You just want to kill everything as quickly as possible. So very, very different styles of play. But I consider them all in builds because you're hoping to get as many stacks as possible. And as soon as you take off this this keepsake, like if in the next act you take take this keepsake off, you lose the you lose the bonus. So I if if I'm gonna do a plume or a pierced butterfly run, I don't I don't plan on removing that at any point. Um, these work with these work with any weapons. Um, I think the butterfly works well with any weapon. Maybe maybe more so with um, the high the, the the weapons with high like range potential. Like any any of the you know the rail the the bow the shield or even the spear have good have decent ranged options. Um, the sword does not really have ranged options unless you get one specific um, hammer upgrade. It gives you a little bit of range. So I don't. I don't tend to recommend the sword for a pierced butterfly run, but of course it, it can work. You just have to be a little bit more, a little bit more cautious. It can be tough with, um, it can be really tough if you have tight deadline on to do really careful um, pierced butterfly runs because you don't, you want, you don't want to be rushed into uh, clearing rooms faster and taking some damage. Um, you want to try to be a little bit more careful. And then uh, with the plume, I'd say there's just about anything would work. Um, you can you can clear rooms pretty quickly with almost any well with any weapon. The bow might be the one that that is a little bit more risky if you're doing the lambent plume. I guess I wouldn't I don't feel like I'm clearing rooms as quickly with the bow um, as I am with other weapons. Although you certainly can if you find if you find some good ways to do area damage like the explosive shot or 
you know, Chiron aspect or even even um, Hera aspect has good has good options for for doing big area damage. So that's good. Those are those are good options too. But I'd say the bow is the slower of the of the different options that we have. Okay, so that's the that's kind of the all in run. <laughs> um, they inspire very different styles of play, which I like. Um, you kind of can practice, you know, not taking any damage at all. And if you really want to up up the stakes with a Pierce Butterfly run, it can be fun to just like pump up your lasting consequences and hard labor, right? So like every hit that you do take is like super punishing. <laughs> it kind of makes it uh, kind of makes it that much more uh, spicy if you're looking for a spicy run. And if you need that, you know, need that heat, then a, a Pierce Butterfly run. You're already trying to avoid damage, so why not um, why not double down on that and get some heat out of it? Um, okay, so then the next style of run I'd, I'd like to talk about is the 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 run where you're looking for a specific duo boon or a specific legendary boon, okay? These are my favorite types of runs. If you notice on my channel, this is the type of thing that I do. I, I start the video out talking about a specific boon that I want to try to acquire. And that's either with, I mean, that's with any of these gods. And so you start out with one. So for instance, I did a, I did a, a Hunting Blades uh, run recently, and you want to start with the you want to start with one of the two gods in the duo, and typically the one that has the highest impact or the highest um, it impacts whether or not you get the 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 duo the most. So, like with Hunting Blades, you absolutely must have a specific Ares um, uh, boon. You need to have his cast, and if you don't have his cast, you can get all the Artemis boons in the world, and you'll never find Hunting Blades because you don't have his cast. So, I try to put that on first, try to get that, and then. You know, maybe you get maybe you get your your secondary god in the first act without having put on the keepsake, and that's great. But otherwise, if you don't, you you put on the next god's keepsake. And actually, you would do it anyway because here's the thing: you can get the duo once you've found um, the prerequisites for the duo. You can get the duo from either of these either of these gods, like from Hunting Blaze. I can get it from Ares or um, Artemis. And it's nice to have that twenty percent chance to be rare or better. Um, on your on your boon uh, chances that helps with both legendary and duo boons because they're they're more they're more rare they're a higher rarity so um, you definitely want to wear the secondary gods uh, keepsake in the next biome if possible if not if not to just get that god in the pool of, of possibilities for you then uh, to up the rarity at least Okay, so that's for duo boons, and then for legendaries, it's kind of a similar thing. You you obviously start with the god that you want the legendary from. So I, there was a period of time where I was looking for Athena's legendary, uh, divine protection. You start with Athena. You try to get uh, a deflect boon right away. Then you try to get brilliant repost uh, from her, and then and then you pray to <laughs> pray to uh, the god of chance. Which do we have that god yet? No, I don't think we do. Um, you pray to the god of chance that they give you. The things that you need and that you get the legendary this is so the things that can help these runs a lot are like finding chaos gates that give you rarity um those are actually i think people undervalue those a lot like you want you like to see those big num those big damage numbers but actually um increasing chances for rare or better boons is a huge huge buff to your run especially if you can get it early um it'll it'll impact things a lot i think um i found it to be very beneficial for finding uh, high rarity boons, which tend to be more powerful. I mean, epic and, or I mean, yeah, obviously epic is better than rare, which is better than common. Um, but then duos and, and legendaries are also very, very powerful. There's not one that I think I would, I mean, I, I pass them up occasionally, but they're usually very, very good. As far as weapons go, I mean, it, it doesn't really matter unless you're going for like a cast specific build, then I'd pick maybe Poseidon's sword or I'd pick Achilles spear. Um, because they give you bonuses to um, cast. Uh, additionally, you could take Hera. Um, uh, Hera bow uh, impacts cast, or to a lesser extent, um, you could take Eris aspect um, rail. It's not exactly cast specific, but it just bonuses or uh, boosts all of your damage by sixty percent, which is pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Um, okay, so then that's that would be for if you're going for a specific boon, which I like. I, I like to do that a lot. Um, the next type of run we're going to talk about is the farming run. Okay, uh, this is you're you're trying to get as many resources in the run as possible. Okay, these aren't necessarily as much for fun or to satisfy your 
your curiosity in the game as much as it is just to get as much stuff as possible or as much uh, resources. I'm, I'm talking about like uh, persistent resources like your darkness, your gems, your keys, uh, ambrosia, nectar, all that stuff. Um, so what I would do if I was doing that, if I was looking for a farming run, is I'd, I'd put on Poseidon or, or Cosmic Egg um, to start, because Poseidon has a boon called um, uh, called Heaven's, let's see, what is it? Ocean's Bounty. So Ocean's Bounty gives you a percentage bonus to your darkness and your money for the rest of the run. So it boosts your run by giving you more money, but it also, if you're trying to farm up as much darkness as possible, that's a great, that's a great boost to your darkness um, acquiring. And then also Cosmic, Cosmic Egg, um, Chaos also offers a boost to your to your darkness farming, but quite a bit actually. Uh, very large percentage increase to your to your darkness. So you can grab grab one of those if you're trying to get as much as that as possible. Um, you can also get more gems with with Poseidon's. Um, he it's like I think it's more gems and darkness and money. I could be wrong. It might just be darkness and, and money, but um, but then he also has a a boon called. Um, sunken treasure that gives you gems, health, and darkness. So it's that's a good that's a good boon too. You can and you can grab that as many times as you as you find it. It's not one that's like a one and done. It's like a consumable. Uh, it also heals you, which is which is nice. So that's uh, that's Poseidon, Poseidon and Chaos for a farming run. That's what I would do anyway. All right, and the next the, the next and the final uh, the final type of run that I I like to do is the big numbers run, okay? So this is where you're trying to get the the, the biggest four, <laughs> four digit number you can find. Um, I, I don't know what the biggest that I've ever found is. I think it's like in the 4K range. Um, with And that was with uh, Hestia Aspect Rail. So what you typically wanna do is you wanna find some, you need some way to get crit, okay? So crit is essential and crit can be found Primarily with Artemis, but there are also some weapons that give you crit. Um, the Nemesis Aspect gives you crit on your attack after you special, and that's a very high percentage chance for crit, by the way. Um, it's very nice. Um, you could also get um, crit on Zagreus Aspect Bow. Um, and then you don't, it's not crit, but you get more damage with Air's Aspect. I mean, there's other ways to get higher percentage damage, so like Achilles Aspect. Um, Hades aspect, those are all bonuses to um, the damage uh, total. I don't know if there's a great way to get big numbers with your shield. I don't think that there is actually. Um, but any of these other ones you can get fairly uh, fairly large numbers, which is a lot of fun. Um, a lot of fun. And then uh, if it doesn't provide crit, then you definitely want to grab Artemis uh, to get as many crit, uh, as much crit chance. And then she's also got Hidebreaker, which gives bonus damage to armor targets. That's the way, that's actually the way you get the biggest numbers is you get hide breaker and that boosts your crit damage by like, I, I don't know, it's like up to almost, almost 200% um, bonus damage on your crits with that. And then you can also get, um, there's another one that gives you a percentage increase. And I think it, it only goes up to 30% increase to your crits. Um, yeah, so you grab crit and then you obviously you can grab um, I would I would grab as many chaos gates as possible. You don't have to take the cosmic egg to do that, but um, grabbing as many chaos gates as possible can boost that specific attack that you're going for. Like if you're looking for big numbers with your attack, like with Hestia, then you can get a um, get a bonus to your to your uh, your attack damage, and that's just that's just gonna put it up through the roof. So you get backstab, you get a backstab on your uh, on your on your rail. <laughs> And that, uh, so 225, we're already starting, we're starting out at 225, uh, you crit that, that's already, you know, almost 500 damage, and then you just boost that, uh, and it, uh, it gets, it's, it's pretty sweet. So, I'd say the best weapons to do that with are, I mean, I, I think the Hestia Rail has the highest, the highest damage potential, but, um, if you can already find crit on something else, like if you, if you're using the Nemesis Sword, then rather than Artemis, I would go for, um, Eternal Rose. So Aphrodite currently, as of uh, January 2020, uh, our, our, uh, Aphrodite has the highest percentage damage increase. You want to get one of those one of those gods that gives percentage damage increase. So Aphrodite, um, Aphrodite, Artemis, uh, Poseidon, 
or Athena. They all give percentage increase to your attack and special. Um, Zeus does not give percentage, neither does Ares or Dionysus. They give a secondary uh, bonus to damage, so you want to look look at that anyway. Um, you can also look at at Achilles. Achilles, if you wanna if you wanna get big um, big crits with a cast, I would go with Achilles. I mean, Achilles and Artemis uh, cast that those are some those will be some pretty big numbers. They're not like astronomical, but they are they are fairly sizable if you can get it pumped up high enough. Yeah, so that's that is kind of how I look at how I look at the game currently in its current state. Um, there's obviously other types of runs like high heat runs where you're trying to put as much heat in as possible, but then you're just you're just hoping for the best on those runs. I don't. I guess I don't have. I don't go in with a specific strategy except take a really powerful weapon like the Chaos Shield, fully fully upgraded Chaos Shield, and take a really powerful um, uh, God Boon set. So like Dionysus. Well, any of these will work, I guess. Maybe not. Maybe not Thunder Signet for a shield run. But anyway, you you find a, a strong combination to try to to try to win your. Uh, your high heat run, whatever you're trying to accomplish, whether it's 32 or wh whether it's just getting up to 10 or 12 or whatever. Um, so yeah, those are my different types of runs. Those are the ones I could think of. Um, do you have any go-to runs that you that you uh, always try to play or that you enjoy playing the most? What what do you do at the start to to decide how you're going to proceed? Um, how do you make those decisions? This game has a ton of different ways to play, which I love, which is part of what makes this game so awesome. And we're about to get a new, a new god. I think uh, I, I'm not exactly sure how it'll all work out. They've always surprised me with their updates, but um, I'm excited for whatever they've got coming. Thanks for watching, you guys, and we'll catch you in the next one. Ooh. Oh, I think we got him. It's hard to believe, but I think we got him. Look at all that damage! What?